Thank you for that wonderful introduction, and thank you, Daughters of the American Revolution, for having me out here today. So my interest in World War II began when I was nine years old. I was sifting through old family photographs when I stumbled on one of a young man in military uniform. And handwritten on the back of this aged black and white image was Italy, 1945. I quickly discovered this individual was my late great-grandfather, Gene T. Fancher. Being young, I had many questions regarding his service, but very few answers from my family. As it turns out, Gene shared no detail of his personal World War II experience prior to his early death in 1970. And so, because of the unknown, my curiosity in this momentous war began. I went online regularly and watched countless documentaries on the History Channel. I realized the severity of our Allied powers victory and knew us as a society were in great debt to these World War II veterans. But I felt something was missing from these informative programs, and that is the first-hand accounts of our greatest generation. Now don't get me wrong, people were interviewing these veterans, but not to the quality they deserved and not with the passion I had. In short, I felt a calling to meet my heroes and capture their stories. However, I lacked necessary equipment at the time, so I began saving up. By age 15, I had two Canon cameras and a microphone. I created a YouTube channel under my name and designated the project Andy Fancher Presents. Very creative, I, I know. <laughs> One month into age 16, I interviewed my first World War II veteran. That was three years ago. I am 19 now and have since then learned a great deal. My project has taken me from California to Florida, capturing some one-of-a-kind testimonies along the way. I've spoken with World War II veterans from all walks of life, from all combat theaters, from all military branches. And a handful of these 90-plus-year-olds have become more than just my heroes, but family. They've invited me to book signings, birthday parties, routine lunches, car shows, and visits to the VA. Quite honestly, I cherish every minute of it. Now, in the summer of 2017, this time-sensitive mission caught a tremendous amount of publicity. Since then, Andy Fancher Presents has been featured on major news networks, including LAC2, a French magazine in Paris, and NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. In October of this year, I was contacted by Google, as they were interested in producing a short film on me and my project. Google's video was released on Veterans Day 2018, and it took my YouTube channel to a whole new level. Now, once an interview is complete, I always write a short article on the individual service and publish the final product on my website, andyfancherpresents.com. In addition to Word articles, I occasionally spotlight a veteran by assembling a short documentary on his or her service. To give you all an idea of my work, I've brought along two completed episodes, one much older and one newer. And I believe we have that over there on the flash drive. Uh, should I come over there? Okay. So those were just two of the nearly 80 World War II veterans that I have interviewed. Now, sadly, 10 of these veterans have passed away since I spoke with them. One as recently as this week. Up until this point, my entire project has been funded out of pocket through several part-time jobs. And this can be challenging at times as I am a full-time college student. And, but this necessary work with our veterans takes a tremendous amount of time and money to accomplish. So I'm asking you to please support my, my mission, whether through a one-time or reoccurring donation, because every little bit helps me reach another service member. For any questions about donating, or if you want to go and read more stories and wa watch more videos, please visit my website, andyfancherpresents.com, or come talk to me afterwards. In the meantime, I will continue to do the best I can with everything I've got 
to publish these fading stories. Quite frankly, it's an honor to preserve the history of our greatest generation. Thank you.